Good evening, everyone. It's wine o'clock again here at the Wine Man's. Tonight's wine, as it's getting close to Christmas, we have some Barosh Colleta Single Vintage Tawny Port. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I love Barosh Port so much and what makes this Colleta so different in example two, late bottle vintage or vintage ports and things like that, and the special process and how you can keep this bottle open for ages. What a great thing to do if you want to. All right, let's start with Barosh. They are specialists in making tawny port. They have been doing this for over 100 years now. They celebrated their 100th anniversary in 2013, and they are absolute experts at making this. Now, they also make late bottle vintage. They also make vintage ports. They also make white ports. But this particular video, this is about the single vintage Collieta 1996 tawny port. So what happens with the tawny port is they basically pop it into a big cask, and it racked a little bit from cask and drip to gas and drip to another cask, drip to another gas, and then it's left to mature in that cask. So whilst it's in this cask, it's evaporating through natural evaporation. That's called the angel's share. It loses about 10 to 15% of its volume every single year. That's a huge amount to lose. But you also, this is the really important thing, with a single vintage tawny port, you can only top up that cask with the same port from the same vintage. You couldn't chuck a 2005 in there or anything. No, it has to be 1996. Because Barros specialise in these incredible single vintage ports, they've got them going back for absolutely ages, decades of them, all being topped up. So let's say they started off with 10,000 barrels. 20 years later, they might only have 9,000 barrels. Another 20 years later, only 8,000 because they're constantly topping up and it's constantly evaporating. They only put it in bottle to order whenever the, the time has come. So that's what makes these single vintage colliators so remarkable. The great thing is when you have a wine that's kept in an oak cask like that for so long, it basically means the wine is dead. It can't die anymore. You can't put any oxygen in it that's going to ruin it. It's not going to turn it. It's not going to go off. You know, that means you can keep that particular bottle open for absolutely ages. And it's not going to make any difference to the aroma or the flavour at all. So let's look at the colour. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a, a bronze sort of candied colour. Now, these are not light ports either. This particular one, if I remember, is 20%. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, 20% in alcohol. And that means that you wouldn't want to drink too many of these, but they are incredibly Moorish. So, on the nose, I mean, straight away, it's figs, it's nutty, it's, it's beautiful, smoky, caramel characteristic. You also get the warmth. You know it's going to be heat, because of the alcohol level because port is basically red wine with brandy thrown at it you know <laughs> this is what makes it an incredible drink ah, that, that, just that candy oh i could just you know you could just sit back and not worry about moving a house and the mess that's everywhere and chill out with just a nice glass of lovely Barros port. Now, it's going to be fabulous with dessert. It's incredible to drink on its own. It's absolutely beautiful with cheese, as you would expect. But because it's tawny, it doesn't have any of the aggression that you get with a vintage port. It doesn't have any of the attack that you get. It's just got a much more ritz, a much more succulent, more rounded, more nutty, more easy drinking style. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. My God, what a lovely drop of port this is. So the warmth just comes in, the acidity is there, the sweetness is there, because it is a sweet style of wine. But it's not a cloying sweetness, it's a warming, just embrace of, of fabulousness. I mean, it's a it's a great price. And the fact that you can keep it open for all this period of time means you can enjoy this over many, many months of the winter. You can even enjoy it over years. I've tried this in some restaurants that I sold it to where it's been open for two to three years. Still tastes fantastic. What great value can you get? And we also do 1978 and I think we've got some 2005 coming in. But the 96 is the one I'm going to recommend for tonight. I think it's a beautiful example and I know you're going to absolutely love it. It is in my Christmas dozen. So if you want to treat yourself to some of this with the rest of the amazing wines that are in there, nip on over to Wine Man and treat yourself today. Cheers.